I want to at least address y'all on this, the most important day in the Christian faith. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, at Easter time we remember the great hope of eternal life which you have set before us, and we feel within our hearts the longings for goodness and for you. Grant that nothing may hinder the hope of eternal life from coming true and the desire for goodness and for you for being, from being realized. Amen. I'm going to read from John, John 20, 1 through 18. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. And Peter and the other disciple set out and went together, went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen, linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen, linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scriptures, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them, that he had said these things to her. This is the word of the Lord, and thanks be to God for it. In all my desperate attempts to be a good pastor, I tried to compete with a lot of people who know a lot more about putting together um, worship services. And in my reckless pride to try to prove that I could do it, I failed. It's a great service and at some point we will get it up onto the website. But these are trying times and still the message of resurrection holds true. Yes, it's about to storm, but the brilliance of these flowers cannot be stopped. The beauty of the world, which was created by God and pronounced good, that beauty is still there. There have been some journal articles showing that the earth is actually kind of healing now. 
emissions are at its lowest, animals are returning to spots where there were no animals before, and the whole world is starting to heal a little bit. This is resurrection power. This is what happens when humans get out of the way and allow God to be God. This is a time for us to look inside ourselves and inside others and do not look for what is wrong with them. For to do that is to shame God because every one of us was created good. Resurrection power brings that good forward, just like by forcing humans into their houses all over the globe, the world is coming back. So while we're in our houses, while we're in our tombs, so to speak, let's remember God created all of this, all of creation, and pronounced it good. That goodness came from the love that God is, not just has, for God is love. And creation comes from love. And the goodness that God proclaimed to all creation resides in all of us, regardless of whether we see it or not. So since you're sequestered and you're spending a lot more time with yourself and with those closest to you, if you are so lucky to be with others. Quit looking so much for the good in places where you cannot be. And look for the good in those around you. It's there because God created good. And it's in you. God created you good. So let's not, let us not blaspheme God, to ridicule God, to turn our backs on God by looking and not seeing, and, and, and not seeing, by not seeing the good in each other and the good in ourselves. For that is to refuse to accept what God has pronounced. Resurrection means we are that brilliant being that Christ is as he comes out of the tomb. That is the sole goodness of humanity and the sole love of God merged into one being, Christ. But it isn't only for the Christ. Because now that Christ has risen, we too get to em embrace and accept God's love and grace and have God's eyesight to see the good in all things. Woe be to the person who seeks the bad. Woe be to the person who hangs on to the hurt. Woe be to the person who will not forgive who will not let go. For they worship something other than the God who created from the love of God's heart and pronounced it good. Resurrection powers are for those people because if you can see the love and know the goodness, it's already worked in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now one last reading, and then a prayer. The day of resurrection has dawned upon us, the day of true light and life, wherein Christ, the life of believers, arose from the dead. Let us give abundant thanks and praise to God so that while we solemnly celebrate the day of our Lord's resurrection, God may be pleased to bestow on us quiet peace and special gladness, so that being protected from mourning 
tonight by his favoring mercy, we may rejoice in the gift of our Redeemer. Gracious God, we ask your continued blessing on this world, a blessing that is very apparent to some and hidden from others. Open all eyes to your goodness. Open all hearts to your love. And let our souls take in the grace that you pour upon all your creation. Help us to look to one another and see in each other that love, that goodness, and that grace. And then, Lord, let our inward eyes see the goodness and love and grace in us. And respond in seeing all of that by saying hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Christ is risen and he is risen indeed, not only on this earth, but in my heart, in my soul, in our faith community, in our world. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is risen, the love of God who created all things and made them good, and the Holy Spirit that binds each and every one of us as one people, one family. May they be with us all. Amen.